la 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 wait till I get my money right la 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 then it can't tell me nothing right What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Sean back with another YouTube video. You know, I've been coming with a lot of belt videos, but come along my journey of upgrading my closet. Come along my journey of upgrading my closet. Please like and subscribe if you really mess with this journey. I'm upgrading my closet, getting new pieces from, you know, Europe, here, you know, LA, New York. Just upgrading my closet just come along this journey with me please like and subscribe but again like my previous video i told you i was going to get some more stolen arts belts for you guys you know he's coming out with a lot of new heat and when i say heat heat this is probably one of his best belts one of his best belts i don't know if y'all seen my um my nerd belt review on stolen arts but i believe i said that one was my favorite, not my favorite, of course, the Charizard belt. I'm gonna post some pictures. The Charizard belt is my favorite, but I don't have that one. But I think the Nerd belt might be my second, second favorite, but it might be replaced with this one very soon. I just got this. I literally just got this in today. I took a peek. I did take a peek at it, but I haven't taken it out the plastic or anything. So y'all gonna see it just like me. I haven't even put it on my, put it on my, uh, put it on my belt loop, so. Y'all gonna see me like rock it with this nice little fit. I feel like this fit can go with it. As y'all can see, if y'all can see this necklace, you probably, if you follow Stolen Arts on their uh, their Instagram, was able, was in their Discord, was able to go to the website. If you can tell what piece I have on, then you can probably tell what piece I have in this box. Boom, well, Jesus piece. So y'all can, can guess in the comment what belt this actually is. But, um, yeah, comment, comment what you think the belt is. But uh, we're ready to get into it. Boom, comes in this nice, beautiful, again, another bag. I think they've been, they've been putting the sizing on this because they might have had trouble shipping. So, you know, the sizing isn't outside, so they just put the 36. You know, they probably shipped the wrong size to somebody before and was like, you know what, let's just put it on the outside so we know. So, boom, again, got the nice stolen arts. Hopefully, I'm showing this. It's, it's nice. Boom, stolen arts. Boom, pop it out the bag. Got this nice, hefty, sturdy box. Boom, stolen arts. Hopefully y'all can see that nice. I just go up and down for y'all. Hopefully the focus y'all can see stolen arts. Again, this is a nice little rhinestone perf perforated bag. It's not, di it's not digital, it's actually like 3D. You can feel the rhinestones on there. Hopefully y'all can see that. Hopefully y'all can see that my people, boom. But let's get into it, boom. Again, I took a sneak peek, but I didn't take I didn't take it out. I wanted y'all to see, like, really, like, see it, hold it with me. So I don't know all the details per se, but I did, you know, I was online, I bought it and everything. On a website, man, shout out to Scott. He came hard with this one. Boom. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? So again, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the info about this belt. Uh, this belt was inspired by um, Travis Scott's album Utopia. Um, but again, like uh, Astro World, I want to say I want to say it was like around Astro World. I could be wrong, but uh, Travis Scott had got this just like the Nerd Belt. It was based on the, a necklace. So just like this is based on a, a necklace, a chain uh, that Travis Scott has probably one of his best chains slash pieces he has one of his most popular. So it's uh, based on the Kami, Ka Mirakami, Takashi Mirakami, uh, the, you know, the Takashi Mirakami logo, but it's the Jesus piece version. So it's the Kami Jesus piece per se. So that's what it's based on. So it's like Jesus piece combined with the Kami. Boom. So that's what this is. So it's very detailed if you see travis scott chain of course i'm gonna post some pictures but you know you have the you have the rose rose gold crown rose gold crown with the nice takashi Murakami colors in here and then on the eyeballs uh on yeah on his is like like the astro world is, is on the left and then i believe the right one is regular but it also has some colors in it but this he he got on his new his new album, I only listen to one one song on it, the song with Drake. But he got his whole team. 
this and they all had like you know different variations of this and uh he they had some i think elliot Elliot had made had made them, but you know he he had FaceTime to catch Americana just to make sure it was okay that he can use this thing, so they got that all straightened out. But um, yeah, this was super super dope. It it was actually my first time seeing it when uh Travis Scott had posted that screenshot, or was it Takashi who posted that screenshot on seeing it like this pendant? Then you have the pearls and you got the nice little rose gold colors with it. It was very 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 nice, very very well done, very creative. I'm not the biggest fan of Travis Scott, but it was a very creative piece and very inter, inter innovative because you know you have the regular Jesus pieces and the regular Jesus pieces are pretty dope, like pretty dope itself. You know, I really feel like that Jesus piece like really got popular when uh, when uh, Kanye West did that did that music video. Uh, Can't tell me nothing. He had that big big uh, Cuban with the Jesus piece. Or it might have been like a rope 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 chain with the with the Jesus piece. At least that's my first time. But I feel like Kanye really made the Jesus piece hot. Because then Big Sean, Big Sean got a Jesus piece. He did an interview. They said hey, that's his like top five piece or whatever. But enough of, enough of me rambling. Let's get into this video. Boom. Take the piece out. Again, I told you it's still wrapped in plastic and everything. Then we have the, the nice cross on the buckle on the buckle. Uh, it's not like the it's not like the other ones. Like the other ones just have like the regular rhinestone buckle, which is dope. This is a nice little nice little feature. Again, I'm looking at it just like how how y'all are. Like I'm like the details are dope. Again, this is probably one of his best belts. Definitely one of his most expensive because this belt is two hundred dollars. Just I believe the nerd belt was more expensive though, two twenty five. Uh, I'll probably post the, like the real real prices up, but uh, but yeah. Definitely one of his most detailed, just like the nerd belt. So boom, we take the plastic, we take the plastic off, and it says, I believe it says stolen, stolen arts. That's dope as hell. That's dope as hell. See, hopefully y'all can see and read that. It says stolen arts on the belt. I believe his brand is called Stolen Arts because he like literally takes like already like artistic stuff and puts his little twist on it. So he's like stealing the art and putting his own twist on it. Maybe, I don't know if that's why he calls it, but again, everybody's inspired about something. So you can put your own twist on me. Nothing is new under the sun. So, but when we have that, some nice rhinestones. Different colors, by the way. This belt is dope. It's this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a belt. I'm gonna do a, a stolen arts belt collection video. I, I might rank them, just like my, just like I did my Saucony collection. Like I ranking like my favorite Saucony's. I might rank my favorite belts. This is not leather, leather guys. This is like cow fur. Like it's, it's not leather. This is like an animal. This is literally an animal. I hope you, I don't know if y'all can see this. I don't know what deep. I don't know what it is. I gotta look at the details to know, like what this texture is. But it's definitely a fur. It's not leather, <laughs> which is dope. That's a cool little detail. Again, I am a size 36. If you wear a size 34 four in pants, you would go up to a size 36. Uh. I explained that on my other Stolen Arts videos. You always go up a size. Don't get your regular size or the belt will not fit you. That is stated on the website. But, uh, dang, this belt is dope, man. It's dope. And then, of course, when you get your Stolen Arts belt, this will be wrapped with plastic. Again, you guys have seen this, this belt with me. But uh, it's not the regular rhinestones, like how you get. It's not the regular joints. It is, they're like, Multicolored, like multicolored, which is dope. Which is dope to match the nice Marikami Jesus pendant. It's dope, man. This is dope. This definitely one of my favorite belts with this nice little man. They did they thing. They can't lie. They did they thing. Did they thing? Also, the cool little feature you can just pop off if you ever wanted to change change anything like 
this cross is kind of upside down to me and we're gonna just you know <laughs> put it back the right way but uh boom so we have so you can always take this stuff off and put your put your belt loop on there he made these like pretty customizable but again this is not leather this is this is like cow or something but it's not leather which is dope definitely made it worth the price definitely made it worth the price but of course it also comes with like more rhinestones like if anything comes out but everything's pretty sturdy so you, I, I doubt I'll ever have to use that and or even if I do even if I would need to use it I'm not putting no more rhinestones in, inside the belt like if it pops out it pops out not worried too much about it but boom if you ever want to put anything back in this buckle goes in the first this first loop here and then this one goes in the second and then you just pop everything back in pop everything back in and boom you have you have your stuff cool so there you go but yeah that's that's what it look like my wall go to my painting uh just like, come with me so what's up we we are at the wall so boom this list the tag got with it got the john geiger's on boom let me know if y'all want to see a review for these my john geiger collection one of my favorite designers right now of course we got the custom kns kns jeans follow us on the gram k.n.s enterprise follow us on the gram and of course what y'all here for is the nice commie jesus piece belt you know i just want to show you how it fit fits very well perfectly of course in the size 34 on the jeans get a size 36 belt simple as that can't make it any easier for you guys so boom we're here with it got a nice little hoodie on but that's bitty with the jc piece of course custom piece one on one rock stone collection coming out very soon if not already if you're seeing this video go to our website cop some cop some we got our moon bracelet of course but yeah that's the fit Like and subscribe if you if you enjoyed this video. Please check out my other videos on stolen arts belts and John Gregor shoes. Any any crazy drip me upgrading my closet. Like and subscribe now. Thank y'all for watching. It's your boy Sean out.